Hey everybody, you got the Hobby Drifter here again, and I got something cool for you today. This, and I'm going to try to get this uh, as well as I can, is the Street Fighter 2 X Transformers Convoy Ryu vs. Megatron Vega, aka Optimus Prime, as Ryu and Megatron as M. Bison, Collector's Edition Takara Tomy Mall 2-Pack. Can I do it? Close enough. Okay, so I don't do a whole lot of... Uh, impulse buying for Transformers because I don't have a lot of space. Um, I have a list of things that I would like to add to my collection and otherwise I don't usually just buy stuff. But I was at a book off outside of Tokyo got and they had this sitting on the shelf for an absurdly low price which I'll go into later and I could not in good conscience uh, leave it uh, sitting on that shelf. It had to be mine. I do have a whole bunch of Optimus Primes. I do have a whole bunch of Megatrons. I do not have any of them in cosplay as some of my favorite video game characters. So, yeah, had to grab this. All right, so what's the deal with this thing? It was basically released as a tie-in with the 30th anniversary of the uh, Street Fighter franchise. Not Street Fighter 2, the one that made anyone care about the franchise. Uh, Street Fighter, the franchise. You know, get that anniversary money. So, the story, and there is a story, believe it or not, is basically that um, Ryu... Ken, Chun Li, and M. Bison are having this big climactic battle. Uh, M. Bison uses his psycho power to uh, basically uh, open up a portal to the Transformers universe. Um, Bison teams up with Megatron to, you know, cause all kinds of hell. So Optimus, RC, and Hot Rod you know, team up with Ryu. Ken and uh, Chun Li to you know continue the battle as as Transformers, which is cool, and I would have to assume that the entire inspiration for this uh, came from someone noticing that uh, RC's helmet thing looks kind of like uh, Chun Li's hairstyle. So that's the the basic uh, story here. Uh, this set has. Uh, Ryu and Vega, a.k.a. M. Bison, uh, being played by Convoy, a.k.a. Optimus Prime, and Megatron. And it's interesting because they've basically taken the two versions of uh, Megatron and Prime uh, and that, as toys, were not terribly well received uh, by fans, but they've uh, repurposed them as these two Street Fighter characters to wonderful effect. I was not prepared to enjoy this nearly as much as I did. <laughs> this is a really cool set. It's packaged in the Psycho Crusher mode. Like, Bison's doing his Psycho Crusher, reuse on block. <laughs> they did not have to do this. They, you know, Takara Tomy could have easily put this in a non-window box, you know, and just, you know, put some artwork on there. But instead we got this. This is the backdrop of the box itself. It's got the same kanji that is uh, on Optimus Prime slash Ryu's uh, alternate mode. If this is not the most unique way that a Transformer has ever been packaged in a window box, it's got to at least be in the top five. There it is, the figure I never knew I wanted. Optimus Prime cosplaying as Ryu from Street Fighter II. This figure was in the running for uh, nobody's favorite Optimus Prime figure released in the last ten years. A triple-changing headmaster that uh, didn't look a whole lot like the G1 Optimus Prime in robot mode. That looked pretty awful in the uh, truck mode. And the obligatory jet mode that was in there for some reason. Um, it was fine. I know it had a few fans as uh, Scourge or Black Convoy when it was released as an exclusive. Uh, but looking at this as Ryu, genius. Figure really, really pops as Ryu. The The... You know, the fighting gloves, the, the gi, you know, the open chest thing. You know, it's it's funny, but it's not, you know, terrible. He's got bare feet. When was the last time you saw a Transformer with bare feet? Except for the ones that turn into bears with, you know, feet. He's got a little headband. It's Optimus Prime with a headband. Kind of wish they'd used a different head so, you know, it looked more human like Ryu. I mean, Megatron looks like, like Vega or M. Bison. But, I mean, I guess the, the storyline, you got to keep true to the storyline, 
is that you know, it actually is Optimus Prime, just with reused powers. So, yeah, fair. Got some really obvious empty leg syndrome going on here, but, you know, it is what it is. This is a blue translucent sword, you know, because, you know, the Scourge version did as well. Uh, it's blue because it's supposed to look like the uh, Hadouken. And it also comes with the gun that the Headmaster figure can ride. Something that was kind of like an unofficial thing with uh, Power Master Prime and then you know, Jean Rai and just kind of became a real thing later on. Cool that it's there. Completely unnecessary for what this is. You can do an alternate transformation so that the obvious scourgy shoulder pads aren't showing. I never bought this version of Megatron when it was released uh, the first time, but seeing it here as Bison, I freaking love it. Like the colors pop, the it, it's goofy, you know, he's getting a you know, skin colored face and hands and stuff, but it just, it looks incredible. Like the colors pop, you know, everything meshes well in robot mode. You know, it looks really appealing in robot mode. Uh, the silvers look incredible on this thing in person in robot mode. I'm never going to transform this thing again because I'm paranoid that I'm going to scrape all the pretty silver off of the thing. It just looks incredible. The fact that uh, Takara Tomi picked this, this version of the mold, which isn't uh, the most well fan received, uh, definitely works in its favor because for a lot of people, you know, for me included, you know, it's their first exposure to the mold, so it's easier to see it as Bison or Vega, and not just as, you know, another repainted Megatron. And as a repainted Megatron, because in the storyline, it is Megatron, he's just taken on M. Bison's power. Um, it looks great. I mean, how often do we get a, a Megatron in, in red and blue and things like that? It, it's rare. Like, it's a completely original way to present this, uh, this mold. And after playing around with the, the alt modes, and you're going to see that in a bit, uh, I don't think of it very much as a, a transformer, but as bison, it looks really, really cool. I mean, a lot of it's down to the, the really fiddly transformation, and it is a very fiddly transformation, but you can get some really cool poses out of this thing. I mean, it, it's, it comes packaged to doing the, the Psycho Crusher mode. You know, and it looks, I mean, this is, you know, obviously, I saw this and I was like, oh, it's a really goofy, funny repaint, but it looks really nice. Like, the colors on this thing, you know, like, there's a ton of paint applications on it to make it look like bison, but those paint applications don't just look like, you know, me trying to paint up my figure to look like a different character. They look really nice. They, they fit. Love that Ryu's headmaster is just Ryu. <laughs> it's, it's not, you know, in any way subtle. It's just, eh. Here's Ryu. Ryu's a headmaster. Jet mode looks pretty cool for what it is, at least from certain angles. At your discretion, you can put on the little sword and the little uh, cockpit there, you because know, Ryu's too cool to fly in the ship. He's got to fly next to the ship. Getting aside, though, it's a red, white, and black jet with uh, silver kanji on it, so I mean, it looks pretty cool. The nose does not want to clip together for anything, though. Here's Ryu's vehicle mode. It's not great. Not great from this side, either. Kind of looks like one of them sad clown paintings, huh? Yeah. I didn't buy this for the truck mode. Ryu Headmaster makes everything better. Unlike with Ryu, the Headmaster doesn't uh, obviously scream that it's it's Bison or Vega. Um, but something I was unprepared for with this Headmaster is just how cute he is. Like he looks, you know, with like the the skin-colored face and giant sunglasses. It looks like uh, kind of looks like Sha from from Gundam in like the later series. You know, where he's not wearing the the helmet. We just got, you know, like the, the big sunglasses and the hair, like the, the poofy whatever. Looks like that. It's cool. I like tank it. Tank mode. You know it's the tank mode because there's a big turret. Side view. Just wistfully looking at the mountain. Less wistfully looking at the mountain. Still can't get over how cute Bison's headmaster mode is. Jumbo turret. Micro turret. Bison's jet mode. So convincing. It really does not want to clip together at some points. Seamless. See all this beautiful silver paint? It's all beautiful silver paint. You are not going to want to transform this thing very regularly. I'm never going to do it again. These wings are multi-jointed and they pop off at every single one of the joints. They're also fully painted, so watch out for chipping. I didn't buy a whole lot of Headmasters from the new series, uh, but if I had known that we were going to get, you know, Bison and Ryu as Headmasters, I probably would have bought a ton more just to take hilarious pictures. Uh, but, you know, say la vie. Uh, back to robot mode. Glorious, glorious robot mode. 
I love this set. Yeah, it was never on my radar before. I heard about it when it was uh, the, when it was first released. It had an insanely short uh, pre-order window. It was like a week. Um, never saw one for sale before. I spotted this one at, at Book Off. And I gotta say, I am absolutely in love with this, this whole concept. And that's probably because I got a ridiculously good deal on it. Uh, I, I, so someone must have gotten like a, a number wrong or something, but this was sitting on the shelf at a, a book off outside of Tokyo for um, 4,500 yen, which is something like 42 US dollars, which is less than either of these figures in any previous release uh, co cost. I want to say the original price for the thing was like 12,000 yen, and it's a Takara Tomi Mall exclusive. So, I mean, looking at, you know, I love me some Street Fighter 2. These things, Street Fighter 2, Transformers, you know, the, the main characters, you know, Ryu and Bison in one set for like 40 bucks. So, I mean, um, yeah, I'm probably happier with this than probably anybody else, um, I don't know, ever who has bought this set. Um, do I recommend it? doesn't really matter, but, uh, I mean, if you can get it cheap, yeah, it looks really, really cool. Uh, if you had to pay full price, I don't know, I mean, it kind of depends on, uh, on how much you like Street Fighter or Transformers or these, uh, these two, uh, versions of, of the mold. Um, yeah, I'm a huge Transformers fan, so having these really, really unique versions of Optimus and Megatron is very, very cool to me. Um, I'm, I'm not sure that they're going to wind up in, in one of my, you know, permanent display collections, but I'm definitely going to have them out, uh, occasionally. Um, how, I love how it, like, mimics the clothes, like, it, how it mimics, you know, uh, Ryu and, and Bison, Vega, whatever's, uh, actual looks. <laughs> it looks really cool. I mean, they, they, this could have been, you know, they could have repainted any figures, uh, into these characters for this set. Um, but I mean, the, the, the choices that they made were just excellent, and I think it acts as kind of like a, a redemption for, for the, the, these molds. You know, it wasn't great as Optimus Prime, uh, as Black Con. It's not anywhere near the best version of any Black Convoy, but as Ryu, it's great. Uh, this was considered one of, like, the worst Megatron figures released in the last, uh, you know, years and years. Um, but, uh, you know... As, as Vega, as Bison, looks great. Um, I'm sure there was probably some thought to making that uh, big, ugly, uh, like, leader class one into, into Bison, but I'm glad that they, they went uh, this way. It's just a, a really nice set, and I'm very, very happy to have it in my collection, and I haven't seen a whole lot of people uh, do much talking about this set, so here we go. Um, that's going to be all for today, everyone. Thank you very much, and happy hobbying.